Okay, so in both versions of Call Manager 7, they've gotten the capability to do uh, bulk uh, import and export. Um, and really what we're looking at is under bulk administration, there is this import export at the bottom. I'm not really referring to anything else other than this import export functionality. Normally the first step that we'll do is we'll do a bulk export. And it does take, uh, I'll switch over from uh, the view of this screen, because um, it takes a while, it throttles back these exports so that it doesn't impact CPU and that you can uh, do it during the day. Um, so here's the device export, all phones. Um, today's the 14th. And if I scroll down, I can then go to um, under device data, there is phones. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell it to. Uh, It's not impacting. It throttles it back. It takes a very long time. It doesn't impact the CPU. If you were to pull up RTMT, you'll notice there's no uh, no impact to the CPU. But it, it basically only allocates very low percentage. So once you run a uh, bulk administration, uh, you would then look in the job scheduler, and the job scheduler would tell you whether it's completed or not. Um, I ran this for 4,000 phones uh, at a customer and it took probably 10 hours um, so we'll take a look uh, but I got a feeling this job's going to take a, a very lengthy period of time there's probably what 700 if we go to phones uh, how many phones are in this particular cluster just do a quick find and uh, yeah 983 records probably take two hours if not more uh, and then once that's completed we then go to upload download files and at that point you'll find a uh, file here that's a .tar file. I use uh, the open source G7 zip um, to open up uh, uh, files. Now here's where Mark Lee it looked like ran uh, or someone previously did export um, all of the phones, uh, all details. So if I want to I'm actually going to go ahead and download this and open it up. You may have a uh, WinZip or something else that can open the. Uh, I want to get the tar version, not the uh, not a text. Now let me see here. Yeah, because what you're looking at is you want to be able to manipulate data that's in uh, the phone. So let me actually show you one that. Uh, uh, is a um, What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I stop sharing your uh, video and uh, I'm now sharing my desktop. If you take a look, can you see an Excel spreadsheet? And so what I'm gonna do is I've actually got a uh, a file um, from another customer where I did an export. Um, this was a particular customer where they had um, 4,000 phones. Um, so after I complete the export. Um, It'll create a .tar file. Again, I use G7-zip to open up uh, uh, tar files. Um, at that point, all I did was a right click, uh, and I'm using 7-zip to export it to um, a folder. And that folder was export device data phones. And inside of the tar file, there's two pieces. When you go to import it back in, you have to have the header. Um, the header is, uh, you know, I don't modify it. Um, but it basically has some information about what the IP address is of the publisher, the version of call manager, um, that kind of stuff. It, it doesn't pay attention to all the fields, um, but usually I just keep that header as is for when I go to import it. So the export goes to a tar file. I extract the tar file. 
I leave the header alone, and then here's where in Excel I open up the CSV file. Typically what I'll do is I might resave it as .xls. I could also take the CSV file, create a Microsoft Access database, and import the data into Microsoft Access. Then I could do some tables, then I could do some self-standards. But what you'll see is when it exports the device, uh, the phone data, it goes all the way from A probably over to, uh, you know, A, Z, or uh, it looks like it goes all the way to CF. So that's about, what, uh, 70, uh, 26 times 2, uh, 50, 52, 70 some rows. Um, and you see in the rows is everything about a physical phone, whether they got a line one, line two, multiple user IDs. Um, at this point, it's just a matter of going in. I can either I can either do filters where I sort by uh, model type, um, device pool, um, MAC address. So let's see. Uh, That's the phone button template. Let me see. I believe there's one here that's a phone model. But it has all the data. Let me just verify it's a phone model. Because I could also, if I were, let me just take a look. So I recall there's a couple other ways to. There you go. Device type. Column BJ. So typically I do a device sort by device type. And then what I'll typically do is I'll break it up into multiple imports back in. You know, I'll put all my uh, 61s one way and my 41s another. So you, you can break this. You can export it and then break it. And typically what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a sample import of maybe just one phone, verify there's no problems with the import, and then I'll run the whole file. So in other words, I'll take a file that might have 400 rows, delete everything but one row, import it, make certain it's good, and then do the import of the other devices. So you can see going all the way over, it's every possible setting of a phone. Um, and that's where if you wanted to standardize, you know, a new, um, you know, a new uh, naming convention, you wanted to redo every one, you know, between Excel and Access, you can, uh, you know, set user IDs, you can standardize the descriptions on the phone. And, and this is really how we use uh, this feature. It wasn't available in older versions of Call Manager. Uh, but it came out in 7 where we can do a bulk export. Um, there's, uh, for device phones, you can export everything. I think there's one or two things that you still can't bulk export out of Call Manager 7, but Call Manager 8, they say there's it's 100%. Um, other, other customers, too, they'll bulk export everything, and then they'll write an application that does a SOAP axle. They'll, they'll actually write uh, a custom application. It does a SOAP Axel query, which is there's an API for communicating with Call Manager. They'll actually have their application, their Access database, have a SOAP Axel API tie back into Call Manager so that they can use Access uh, or other applications they develop themselves to do the programming in the Call Manager. But you know, it really requires you need know, to be a member of the Cisco Developers Network and read all the. You know, you got to be a developer to go that far. I'm not. I'm not at that level. No, it's seven seven zero two. Yep. Um, that's that's pretty much it on uh, being able to import and export uh, into Call Manager, especially when it comes to phone.